This segment brought to you by Kansas Grain Sorghum, growers working together. Find out more at kansasgrainsorghum.org. And here we are again. Hey, you know, I'm, I'm proudly on the volunteer board at the Jayhawk Theater of Kansas. And of course, we're in the process of raising funds to completely renovate the theater. But in the meantime, we have a lot of events that are going on mm -hmm. there. And one of them was the person that we're going to talk about next. And uh, not only was she uh, putting on a tremendous show, it was a sellout, and we really do thank Kelly for uh, honoring us to be at the Jayhawk Theater and be one of our fundraising events. You're going to love Kelly. Let's take a look. Just mentioning the name Kelly Hunt is enough to generate excitement. The singer, songwriter, piano player, guitarist defies easy definitions or pigeonholing. Her website describes her as a woman who has muscled her way onto the scene on her own terms with an identity steeped in blues, roots, gospel traditions, and a refreshing originality. Kelly makes music with its righteous roots intact it also crosses boundaries. Together with commanding passionate stage presence and superior vocal, keyboard, and songwriting skills, she's earned the respect of critics and fans across North America and Europe. Born in Kansas City, Kelly was influenced by listening to early blues, R&B, roots rock, jazz, and gospel. A cross-section of New Orleans, St. Louis, KC piano traditions, as well as Kansas City Masters Jay McShann and Mary Lou Williams. Before that came the sound of her mother singing jazz and blues, her first musical memories, and the influence of her New Orleans gospel singer grandmother. Reminders of these very traditional influences are evident in Kelly's live performances and recordings, but the lyrics, soul, and passion are all her own. Kelly's resume includes appearances on a long list of premier festival stages, and she's appeared six times on A Prairie Home Companion. Kelly's latest album, The Beautiful Bones, is her sixth release and fourth as co-producer. It's been called the best work of her career. More than bones prove beautiful on this scintillating release, Kelly Hunt's time has come, writes Blues Music Magazine. What are we doing? What will we see through our sorrow? Kelly described how the song came to be. I had already written most of the songs, she said, and felt they were about the things that are important to all of us as people. But the beautiful bones connected them. I was inspired by looking out my kitchen window while I was playing guitar and seeing the bare branches of a tree covered in snow. And I started to think about the layers we all have in our lives and the possibilities that come with each of them. The bare branches of that tree started to resemble a hand, and I started thinking of all the strong women in my family. It was as if they were sending me a message. Fifteen minutes later, the song was done. In a state where we can boast many musical accomplishments, Kelly Hunt is a rare find. Gateway to Oz. 